hello the cancer uh, so this is your love uh, reading for the time frame of 18th of May until the 31st for more clarification please watch your general reading but um, this reading and the previous reading I've done they they both do um, really tie in together um, and for the love reading what I do I take I pull out some Dorian Virtue Romance Angels cards and I do clarify them with a tarot, tarot cards because sometimes a positive message may appear but when you further clarify it it's not really what it seems at first um, first card we have is a wedding this situation involves a marriage um, so it's either you are married you have been married or um, in you, it not, not not even necessarily marriage. Maybe the person you you are or been dealing with, you've had a long term relationship with them, or you may think about proposing to them, or you've got certain commitments to them. Like maybe you guys bought a house together, or you have children. Therefore, that could also reflect this card as well. And when I clarified it, we have the Ace of Cups and we have the. Uh, six of swords someone is trying to offer their feelings to someone here um an emo it seems like it's an emotionally fulfilling uh, type of offer as well but then we have the six of swords and the six of swords is may, uh, moving away somewhere from less turbulent waters into a more calmer situation but then this ace of cup um, and, and these individuals within that boat are moving away from that offer. They're not, um, they're not positioned in, in a way where they are facing each other. So I'm compelled to say that someone's offering you their love and you're trying to move away from them because you do not feel the same or vice versa. Then the second card we have is the um, attraction card and it says... Uh, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully but then when we clarify we have the eight of cups and the moon card so very emotional energies are at play here so you may be attracted to someone but someone is walking away from this emotionally unfulfilling situation because it was not balanced maybe one person was giving more than the other or someone was um you know being quite manipulative um or you know someone was being selfish as well and then the moon um is, is also a quite intuitive water energy a card of pisces as well you may be dealing with pisces or this is just basically indicating some type of secrets being unrevealed um having dreams some type of illusions that may not seem not be realistic or that they don't um or as in nothing is as it actually seems to you at this moment in time you know so it's either as i say there may be attraction there but someone's moving away from the situation or someone you know is moving forward however um whatever action you may take is still unclear as to what will uh, the future will unfold for you now then we have you deserve love and then it says you are a lovable and then we have um the emperor card uh this card represents the sign of aries um or it could be your energy which um kind of links to together with the romance angel cards because the emperor is the type of energy that indicates uh, uh, an individual taking control of their life or trying to be headstrong and take control of the situation. But then at the same time, contradictory to that, um, Ten of Wands is here also, which means, and he's kind of situated directly facing this card, which, which kind of to me says that you are trying to uh, take uh, matters into your own hands but you feel really burdened at this moment in time and you feel like um you know you hit you hit a, a, a wall uh, you know you're overburdening yourself uh, but rest assured that number 10 um does indicate some type of ending eventually so your uh, the situation is uh, approaching its end but as as i said you do deserve love you know that and you're trying to um, you know, um, take control of the situation, but you feel really burdened as well. 
Um, then we have passion card. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So definitely it's either someone is feeling the attraction and feeling passionate about you. Or vice versa, you're feeling that way about somebody. But then we have the eight of cup, uh, sorry, eight of pentacles, the nine of swords and the knight of swords. Um, I think pentacles here indicate, you see how this man is really focused on the producing um, and manufacturing these pentacles and his back is kind of turned to everything else. Um, you know, so you're trying to materialize and take control of the situation. Once again, you're really working um, quite focusedly onto it. Um, and, and due to this, you're stressing yourself out. Could be you may be having some bad dreams, referring back to the moon, maybe having some type of thoughts or anxieties that are keeping you up at night. I don't mean it literally, but you know what I mean. Nighttime is the time when we have the most silence to think about things, and you know, certain things do tend to haunt us as well. And then we have the Knight of Swords. And this could be um, uh, an energy of an individual who is an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon or Rising sign. And I feel like whoever this that you're, you are involved with, I mean, you're working so hard and the situation is giving you so much stress. And I feel like this individual is a bit selfish as well. Or they, they, they may not know what actually is going on in your life and how much you have on your plate. And they still seem like regardless of the states you're in they're still coming in trying to attack you try to be abusive try to be aggressive try to insult you so you know that's how i feel so although there may be passion underlying but um there's some type of uh, conflict residual conflict as well with this card um then, then we had the um uh, separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon um for some of you i feel like that's already happened could have been even happened last year you know we're still dealing with all that residual um feeling because we have the five of wands which kind of means um some type of uh, competition some type of um um you know interference from other people um not getting on with other people as well so other people could have been involved into your relationship um, interfering too much or could have been that someone cheated on you henceforth the involvement of other people or vice versa then we have the four of swords and that came up in your general reading which means that um, we need to pay ten extra special attention to this card which is urging you to um, reflect take your time um, and instead of you know worrying about things that are out of your control uh, try to look um, from outside the box look objectively and uh, be be honest with yourself and see um, what needs to be done so you, you know you, you, you can protect your protect yourself and also kind of um, take into account the other person's interests as well but it's urging you to um, be a bit more analytical try to be more logical about things do not let um, emotions overburden you as well um, because we do have the wheel of fortune so whatever is happening now and we have another 10 so definitely something's coming to its close now and um, re rest assured because the wheel of fortune also came up in your general reading um, you know that things well by the looks of it should turn for the better because now I see a lot of kind of um, exhausting type of cards you know you're feeling burdened not moving away from some type of situation then you, you know keeping yourself up at night conflict so this indicates that whilst these um, energies are underlying at the moment the wheel of fortune will turn into your favor and things will get better because you do have the magician here um, the magician is the card of manifestation and the magician is urging you to know that you have everything in, in like you hold all the power in order to uh, manifest the situation the way it is of benefit to you um you know so it says uh, possibly uh, t take your time or even if, if let's say you, you go through some difficulties with your partner because of other people's involvement take some time to reflect um, analyze uh, meditate because you have the power to manifest whatever it is that is more favorable for you because things 
will turn into your favor after this whole um this whole type of um negative energy does um you know um move away and we have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring because we do have the page of wands and we do have the page of cups so interestingly enough um pages are quite young in energy could be as i said you're dealing with a younger individual but at the same time bear in mind not necessarily it could be that you're dealing with someone who tends to be immature in their ways or in certain aspects of their life um and we have a page of wands which um, indicates a fire sign and it's funny how in your general reading we had the predominance of uh, and, uh fire uh, fire and air and we have an air element come up and then we have fire here and fire here which is a card of fairies um so that's quite interesting and then we have the page of cups uh cups is uh, water energy Pisces scorpio or yourself cancer so i think that is you and that's somebody else and you know someone someone's someone may have passionate feelings for you um and 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 you you do feel quite sentimental and emotional towards someone as well but in this case both people are facing each other rather than when in, when we was doing our general reading um you know one individual was facing away so i think this is the energies are coming together to express how they feel about each other and you know exp as i said the card as the card says romantic feelings you know so you know so, so they're coming head to head so although um all these underlying energies and so on trying to walk away and someone's not receiving the love offer eventually there, there will be some type of um head to head um head, head to head and you, you know um communication and then at the bottom of the deck is the underlying energy we have the strength card um card of leo as well so as i said it's uh, fire energy is really pre pre predominant here um but the strength means that um you know eventually you'll be able to uh take control of this situation uh be in, in the driver's seat and um you know just um get everything under control as this woman has with this beast 